Yeah. Yeah, also Diddy's banana gives you a second added neutral. Enhanced. Also, uh, Sheik's neutral is also kind of carried by her character having such good frame data. And pretty good disjoints. Yeah, but all the times, um, I, sometimes I can take the Dikon to FD because I, I'm confident in my ledge trap game. Because I know which one to jump in regardless. I don't even care. So a lot of the times I usually go FD versus well, if I ban like Triplast and go FD versus Diddy because I'm more confident in my ledge trap game than um, my my neutral at that point. So I'd rather just get the strong punishes, and that might be what that wants to do. Get the strong punishes and ledge trap Diddy because Diddy Kong can definitely definitely some something to ledge traps, and you can also use the banana against him to ledge trap him. Yeah. I will say that um, since you know a lot of these guys don't main Diddy, they probably don't want to use Diddy's banana as well as Diddy knows how to use his banana. However, one people, one thing that people fail to realize about Diddy's banana is that almost every character that doesn't use items already have force on it. Um, banana. Yeah. Like she will probably throw bana um, banana lots already. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the frame item frame throw is for everybody, but um. I would assume she should be weaker than Diddy Kong. Diddy, um, I believe is frame 7, while most characters are like frame 10. Really? Yeah. Dang. It might be 9, but it's definitely high, um, Diddy's just definitely better. Yeah. I almost had it, going for that diamond cutter. Ooh. That was, that was actually good for Nev to realizing that he was going to get crossed up in that situation, so he adjusted his DI to not die to that. Uh, Shik, uh, Diddy's up throw up air is a 50-50 at first. Yeah, and there's also now the 50 50 with the cross of DI. Okay, Donnie! Going for his. Nair to dare to nair to dare. Never seen that before. Yeah, especially from him. He usually goes for the bread and butter stuff. Ooh, the shield pressure coming out there. Uh, whenever Nev goes for that grenade, I assume it's like some weird missing put because I don't think she ever wants to do that. Oh, he's resetting the situation, but Diddy comes with his privilege refresh. Yeah, okay, he was go. not gonna live that one. Yeah, Diddy Kong is one of those characters who gets to refresh their side B every time they get hit. Yeah. But uh, that was good stuff from Nev, so keeping the pressure going on with the recovery and like actually getting the kill. Because as much as Diddy Kong's want to talk about how their recovery is exploitable, they definitely, it's definitely pretty hard to get it. It's fast. If he does get hit, he has the rocket barrel jump. He also just has a side B to come back. Mm -hmm. However, Diddy is also a pretty risky recovery to exploit because, like, the barrels can really can kill you or it can stage spike you unexpectedly. Yeah, which is why I don't understand why Decon always talks about. Decon mains talk about how exploitable the recovery is because a lot of the times it's not really safe to go for it because you can get cheesed. Yeah. Or it just, it's not just worth it in general. And even if you hit him, sometimes he can still recover. Yeah. Like in that situation, but Nev was able to keep the pressure with the lingering hitboxes of back here. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna go to Smashville now. Uh, Donnie doesn't really care about stage picks. He's totally fine with Smashville, so. Yeah. But, you know, Sheik does have that added ability with the platform to extend her combos. He's dead. Uh, I'm sorry, Donnie kind of deserved that. <laughs> yeah, you went for like some back here, down here stuff, which is not true at all. And most people are probably just gonna fade away and like air dodge. So but it wouldn't have been guaranteed because, like, I mean, it wouldn't hit because um, Nev DI'd away. Yeah. That's really only a thing on maybe really big characters. Someone skinny like she and with good air mobility is just going to fade away. Like, even if Donnie did spike spike him, um, I'm pretty sure Nev would still be able to recover, despite how powerful he's down there. Yeah. But... Nev hasn't actually put that much percent on Donya right now. Yeah. So, Donya could definitely still bring this back. As I say, Nev is getting a bit of percent. Alright, that was good Tomahawk. Ooh, needling when Diddy has banana is really bad. Ooh, and, okay. contrary to popular belief, needle stuff have a good bit of yeah. It's just when usually she uses it, she's kind of far away. Yeah, she's so far you're away not punishing it. 
So oh, that yeah. was pretty king clean kill right there. Yeah, yeah Donnie making it, bringing it all the way back. Hopefully, now can get himself composed and put this, put it actually work in. Us can get another cheesy kill. Donnie is playing really different today. You usually see him play more optimal, but now he's just going for down airs. He's probably watch Arthur Diddy. I mean, Diddy's down air if he land is really high and yeah. can kill ridiculously early. Also, auto cancel from short hop. Mm -hmm. But it's not very really good use in it. Yeah, it's not. He, has, when, he just has better moves to use. Yeah, so why do that when you have back air and forward air? And Donnie's already brought that back. Uh, and knowing um, Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong just a bit earlier than Sheik. I will say, um, Nev has been jumping a lot. Diddy Kong is like an anti air god with forward airs and stuff. Um, a lot of the. Alright, that was a good up air, but he crossed him up, right? Yeah. But all the time doors is Diddy Kong. Uh, if Diddy Kong's forward air happy, that's probably because you've been jumping a lot, and all the times you just want to start ducking at that point, because you can duck on the Diddy's forward air. Well, if he buffers the attack, if he, if he knows you're going to duck, he can still wait for it and then do a look to the ground forward air. But, like, he has to take landing like if he does a look to the ground forward air. Yeah. A lot of characters can actually duck under Diddy's forward air. Like Lucas, even though he has a really bad crowd, he can duck under Luke, um, Diddy Kong's support air. Yeah, and then... Um, and uh, Sheik can actually duck under all Diddy aerials. Yeah, and then... Uh, carriages are good up tilt, so you're able to duck, and then make Diddy rip forward air and just up tilt, and maybe kill him, and start something from him. Usually the better strategy is to power shield and then punish afterwards, because sometimes if you do an up tilt... Yeah, the lingering hitbox is forward air. And when you power shield a move like Diddy's Ward Air, um, the hitbox deactivates, so yeah. even if it's activated while you drop your shield, it won't hit you. Yeah, I saw most people hit moves there. I believe that's how all single hit moves work. Yeah. The most notable example is Cause Down Air, but let's talk about this match. Yeah. Um, and actually, we went back to FD. Uh, Nev will go there because I believe that Dave's super cool was that. Yeah, there is DSR and Nev did not have to go back to the stage. Yeah, so maybe he thought he could do it on the stage again. Uh, Usually the strategy is, um, for example, in Donnie's case, just say, want to go to FDH, sneaky leads, make them forget about DSR, uh, and then just go to uh, FD anyways because they forgot about it. Yeah, that was I do this all the time. Really? Yeah, so like. Yeah. If they don't play FD, it's like, you want to go to FD? And then it's just like, oh, I go to FD now. Yeah. But um, that situation was really scary for Donnie, because he was at the bottom of the stage. But Nev, I don't know what Nev's trying to do. Uh, you just want to needle him. Uh, needles usually will get cheek, will get Diddy. Because, especially when Diddy's like right there, out of perfect diagonal angle for Needle to happen. I don't think it was in his mind, though, so. Well, at the same time, Donnie was kind of like great under the stage, so it's kind of hard to do it. Yeah, but I mean, the, the stage, like, since FD is more of curved, I feel like Needles could still, like, curve down and hit the dungeon, yeah. rather than him being, like, there from under the stage. But he also could have, like, went for a back air or something, but, yeah. Yeah, back air is also a pretty good move to go for as well. Okay, I'm not getting the mix up with Donnie. And he's going for the down air again. Uh, that should be 150, but that being smart, just know he might be waiting for the air dodge this time. Yeah, and that wasn't able to get that air dodge though, so Donnie is gonna live again. And pretty soon, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say Sheik's 50 50 is gonna start working, stop working out of a down tilt. So all Donnie has to do is just not go off stage, and he should be fine. Because Sheik is one of those characters that can edge guard the up didn't do well. Uh, okay, I was going to say Donnie didn't really have the banana in the best position, but he shifted it with his curve box. It's probably something he did on purpose, or maybe he just reacted to his banana not being there. Cover the option. Uh, Donnie is looking for that down tilt ball smash. That's why he's crouching so much. He's trying to get Sheik to miss space and move. And there's one thing that he can always do about that, is just start grabbing you. Because, like, most people are going to shield. It's like, oh, I don't want to get down to it. Yeah. So grabs become a lot better option. Yeah. 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 
So Dunya in that situation always goes with the same shield pressure option, which is falling down back air into a rising back air to catch like a jump. But it doesn't matter. He's going to get that back air kill at the middle of the stage. Yeah, for that guy. Dunya takes a set.